Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dolores and today we are in baby girl's room. So Yes, so today I'm hanging out outside of her crib and I'm just basically gonna show you guys what her nursery right now looks like and then we are going to like try to transform. I've been moving some stuff around a little bit but I really like has had like a random burst of energy and of course at a really inconvenient time. So I want to just kind of show you guys like what I'm working with here and then like what hopefully will be moved and like changed around. So yeah. We wanted the Sniglar crib from Ikea, like the super popular Sniglar crib. I'll pop the picture up right here if you don't know what I'm talking about. It literally looks like this one, but it's not. But every single month that I've tried to get the, get that crib, literally since I was pregnant. So I found out I was pregnant in like September and I was like, I want the Sniglar crib. And from there on out, it has been out of stock, which is like so terribly annoying because I'm like, why are you out of stock? So anyways, they told us, oh, it'll be in stock in February. We looked, it wasn't. So anyways, I have no chill and there was just a couple things I wanted to get. I didn't want to put on, I didn't want to put on the registry, which the crib was one of them. And the stroller that we have here was another one that I didn't want to put on the registry. I just wanted to be able to like take my time, trying them out, making sure what I wanted was like what I wanted, you know? Anyways, so this crib that we got is actually from Target. It is, I can't remember the name of it at all whatsoever, so I'll put a picture of it here and then I'll put the link in the description as well. Um, but it's from Target and I absolutely love it. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera so I can show you guys. So it is actually raised, but I didn't, I felt like without the mattress on, it looked like it was like gonna be like super low and I was like, um, let me just like throw my baby down, um, you know? <laughs> but it's actually raised up pretty hot. Like it's on the, oh God, sorry one two three it's on the third it's on the highest notch which is fine because i think that's how high you need to have it for an infant and then as they get older and as they start to sit up and progress you move it down um so in the bed we have this beautifully cute little ballerina fairy blanket on here and then it came with this doll strapped in my sister-in-law got it for a baby girl and we were so sick and excited this is her first doll i love it because everyone should have dolls of different ethnicities in their home i feel like it helps your kids to understand that everyone's skin doesn't look like your own um i just love it i love the diversity and inclusion so she got that for us and <laughs> look how cute guys so its eyes are like closed and then it has little like fairy wings and I accidentally took the bow when the bow's out of the hair but I was able to redo it and it's really cool because you can just like do its hair I just thought this thing is so stinking cute so um and then what she's sitting in is the bobby um a bobby so we got the bo a bobby pillow off our registry I love this print um I'll try to find this again and link it in the description we have a bobby and then um this comes off the cover comes off and you can wash the pillow too then I have the car seat cover <laughs> and um this and this go together is actually for like the mo the mobile their mobile that you put like above the crib and so amos just needs to install that and then obviously we have the mattress for the bed and then this thing is actually like a rounded like play mat and before you guys come for me in the comments yes i am totally aware that absolutely none of this is to be in the crib when baby girl's here i'm a first time mom but i'm not like a first time like kid person so i just have it in here because i just think it's cute and i have nowhere else right now to put these items so plus she actually won't even be sleeping in her crib for the first like i don't even know how long people tell you don't put your kids in the crib i mean we might put her in there depending on our situation with getting a um bassinet or not but either way um it won't be used for a while so but i just needed things like off the floor and out of the way so yeah i'm gonna sit you guys down and i think we're just gonna we're gonna work on this clothing and situation and then i have some stuff i have to do so yeah <laughs> oh my gosh what i didn't do for you guys is show you the little bump thing so Oh my gosh, okay. So this is the current bump right now. I am 29 weeks pregnant. And it is like 75 degrees outside right now where we live. So that's why I'm wearing this. I know it's March, but yeah, so I'm feeling good. Looking good, I feel like. I was gonna do my makeup, but I don't even think I'm gonna do my makeup today. So screw up. Okay guys, so as I sit here and whoa. Okay, fun angles. <laughs> As I sit here, I'm sitting on this exercise bowl. So, excuse me. Um, I'm actually gonna be folding 
and organizing these clothes that I had was telling you guys about earlier. I'm sitting on them. I'm going to be sitting on my exercise ball here because it is just supposed to help with so much. So I'm going to be going through some clothes um, that someone gave me, but also clothes I like bought myself and just threw them into this laundry basket. But I want to update you guys on, I'll give you guys a little bump date while we're here. So I'm 29 weeks pregnant. I'm in the third trimester. I still need to record my second trimester um, like update video like how that went like how did the second trimester really go um and do we like this angle better it's a weird angle i know because i'm sitting low but that'll do okay the pacifier um but yeah so i want to give you guys a little update on what how how everything's going right now you know what i mean um so yeah 29 weeks pregnant first of all let me show you guys how cute these are I forgot I bought these. I bought them randomly like a couple weeks ago. The last month actually. It's a little headbands. One's like pink with a little like, sorry, not me flick you guys off. One's pink with a little like bow and then the other one is like a knot but it has strawberries on it. And stuff. Are you kidding me? Love. Okay. So 29 weeks pregnant. That means I have about 10 weeks left until baby girl is here. And I am feeling like okay about it i am nervous i guess first and foremost i just feel like like what in the world am i doing like basically have done the work and so it's crazy i just had my appointment today for the 29 week appointment and um everything's looking good baby girl is measuring well um sadly i don't get any more ultrasounds for the remainder of this pregnancy, which is okay. I'm just bummed because I want to see her again. So we might go and do this like sneak peek ultrasound situation, I guess. Like I think that's what it's called or something like that. And so, um, which, which is loud. I want to do like a 3D one. So I think we might like schedule and like go do that. So that'll be fine. But otherwise, I mean, things are doing great. Um, I think she's the size of like a autumn squash is what the app said today. So I was like, okay, cool. So she's the size of an autumn squash in case you guys want to know. And I mean, overall, like she's doing good. Yeah. Mentally, I feel like I'm doing a little bit better. I feel like I've been like, I was struggling there for a bit. I'm not gonna lie for you guys. I was really like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I really feel like I was like, ooh, this might be the end of the world for me. So it is nice knowing that now like I'm doing a lot better. And so yeah, if you guys pray, just make sure you pray for me. Oh my gosh, hold on. I'm gonna keep this just for the fact that like Amos would enjoy her wearing something adorable like this. So being in third trimester, I am a week in technically. So it starts at 28 weeks and then goes on until the end. And so, um, <laughs> um so yeah, it kind of feels crazy. It doesn't really feel that real, but um basically like I am not sick I never really dealt with any kind of morning sickness so I'm fine but I'm not sick I don't have any like anything weird I'm definitely like so like when I say I'm hungry you guys like I am so much more hungrier than I was like any other trimester like I feel like I'm like eating like 29 7 and it's a little aggressive so I'm like okay um so I'm eating a lot more um, my mental, like, frustration, I feel like with people, I'm a little more on edge. I feel like I'm just a little more, like, people can get on my nerves a lot quicker, if that makes sense. I mean, that's really kind of, like, it, you guys. I mean, I'm only, like, two seconds into this whole, like, third trimester thing. Um, but yeah, pregnancy as a whole, I feel like it's been a blessing. And I'm so excited, I'm so excited it, it, to just, like, have, we have, I have my first baby showers this weekend. So I am so excited to just celebrate and celebrate her and Amos and I and our family and just growing our family like I am so stinking I'm just so stinking stoked I cannot wait to just meet her and celebrate her and everything like that that comes with motherhood so yeah okay guys so yesterday I went ahead and got those clothes finished folded <laughs> I finished getting the clothes folded in the basket here I'm happy because I feel like it's like a good amount here we have like enough clothes like I 
purchased things that other people have already purchased and some people have given us in this basket here and then i went ahead and took the um extra clothes and put them in a different bag to give away to my sister um in law and then yeah so i really didn't do like too much i took this blanket i'll show you guys i took this really cute yellow blanket <laughs> guys i got it from TJ Maxx, it's just beautifully yellow. I love it. The rooms for the rooms, the colors for baby girl's room are like that pinkish color, like rosy rose pink color, gold, um, browns and white. So neutral with a pop of the gold and the pink because I like the yellowish color and I think these look really pretty together. Um, I might change out the color of the curtains actually to be more of like this color i want there to be like i like the yellow like the gold and like that rose pink to them hi Lee. hello she's getting groomed today we're so stink i'm so stinking excited for her to get groomed guys she had like a whole ear infection and so we couldn't groom her because she had an ear infection couldn't get like couldn't like yeah groom her because she had an ear infection and then like she's been rolling around the mud the last couple days so i've only like brushed her a little bit so it is time i'm so excited but uh, anyways, so that was the old blanket from TJ Maxx, but I went ahead and took it out of the package. It was like hanging up in the closet there, and I put it on the chair here. It's not going to stay there, but this is kind of just what the nursery is looking like for now, Z. Literally, of course, as I'm about to like end this vlog, I noticed these, and I just think this is the cutest thing ever. So guys, they are just clothing, clothes dividers for babies, and they're little wood ones, and they're on Amazon. And just like everything else, I'm going to link these down below too. I just think they're the cutest thing. Obviously, a lot of clothes that we have so far do not come on hangers. Or I also need to buy hangers. But like, so cute. So you just put like whatever size it is. You just put the clothes right behind it. And organize it. And I just think those are like the cutest things ever. Thank you guys for just watching this video today. And or, you know, today and hanging out with me. I am going to go take Winnie and baby girl to the groomer. Um, get a coffee. Go hang out with some friends. And then, yeah. So I will catch you guys in the next vlog, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys shortly.